And it all starts with Rocket the Doll. Oh! More faces. That's, I like that's those faces. Scary to me. I, I think those are That's cool. really gross. <laughs> I freaking, this is, this is dark, man. It's dark. More theme song. Can't get enough. Welcome to GT Not Live, where we are finally, finally finishing our reaction series to the Walton Files. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the last one. Title is, What Does the Walton Files Ending Mean? Oh my gosh, we're going to get to the end. The canon episodes in this thing, total three. The canon reactions from us, total five, six, five. Eight. Five? Yep, this is the final one. Five? Yeah, yep. five. Five! Because true to form... Have we watched five? We'll just extend it out ad infinitum and, you know, overthink it to death. Uh, so in case you've missed any part of the past, which I... Why would I assume Please that? Please catch us up Part five. Time. Usually people do not start in the middle of series, but hey, if you've missed any of them, they're all out there. They're all really interesting. Uh, but basically, Walton Files... To Catch You Up is a FNAF-inspired kind of spin-off series, uh, all about creepy animatronics, but really seems to be developing into a human drama. So whereas uh, human FNAF drama. is kind like of animatronics human first, human story about it. serial killers that persist past life and death and uh, infect each other and what... So just to keep you guys updated on what I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we watch hmm, close to half maybe half of this, this video, and then um, we'll take our break and then come back and finish up this video and then jump into the film theory. theory. So. Whatever, whatever, whatever. That's how that story goes. This is about, like, humans, their relationships, their failings, and also there's animatronics sprinkled in because everything could use a little sprinkle of animatronics, right? It's like the Salt Bay meme, but with little robotic bunnies and chickens. Yeah. Just, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Someone should Except make this a, one is robotic a clowns, them. bunnies, and lambs. And the ringmaster for some reason. It's a very odd assortment of characters, I gotta admit. Very scary assortment of characters. They're one half. That's interesting. Sorry. Theory idea. It's, in, it's a weird amalgamation. Bond's Burgers characters are a weird amalgamation of, like, circus characters because you got Boozoo the Ringmaster and you got uh, Billy the Clown. But you also have, like, farm animals between Shaw the Sheep and, like, two rabbits. Yeah. So it's a weird diametrically opposed. Wait, Angel brought up something. I just see it. You know how people have a name for their subs? Can we be bears in a well? <laughs> that's hilarious, but I think that's maybe a like too long of a name. Mortem says no. Red guy with a top hat says yes. <laughs> hey, Wolf. I mean, you guys can talk about what you guys want to be called. If you guys want a name at all, that's up to you. I'm not going to force that on you. Thing I that think don't that would be really cool. cross, right? Same. You don't see bunnies in a circus. You don't see sheep in a circus, and but then clowns and circus masters. Could there be more to the story down the line, Mr. Martin Walls? Could that be something that you have planned in the future? I don't know, but in order to figure that out, we probably should get to the end of this video that we're currently at. Yes. And we should probably get to the end of Let's what actually exists in the series before we start pontificating about where it goes next. Um, but, uh, uh, when last we left off, we are uh, Sophie. We're playing this old video game that's kind of rebubbling up memories that have been kind of repressed and like drugged out of our mind. Um, and we have this uh, white and purple bear that kind of seems to represent these repressed memories that are coming back to fruition. So that's what you need. Uh, anything else worth saying here, Matt, or have we pretty much covered it yeah, all? Yeah, I think you got it. Right? I feel Although like I, I would it. like to, you said that, uh, it was a lamb, but it is a sheep. Is a sheep and a lamb two different things? I a, believe A lamb so. is a baby sheep, isn't right. it? Right, but it's a full-grown sheep. 
Sure. Shall, a shall lamb is a baby sheep. Shaw, yeah. Shaw, the former Can lamb, you know, current sheep. I just didn't want you know Shaw to get offended. No, thank you. I, I appreciate oh. that. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to offend the internet by or or the internet too. Yeah, Shaw yeah. or. I mean, Matt, the former boy, now a man. Well, I guess that's a that's, that's a, a weird thing, right? Yeah. That was odd. Uh, that was odd, honestly. <laughs> Like, I guess Maybe there's right. a reason. Maybe there's a reason you don't enjoy the former baby, now adult. Formerly known as baby. Yeah, formerly known as baby. Matt, formerly known as baby, now currently known as young adult. <laughs> Are you full adult? Young adult? Where's the young adult I don't start? Know. That's funny. I guess it depends. I I'm like, a, an adult, definitely. Ad- adult is yeah. definitely a flexible one. Young adult. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know. When when do you become a young adult? I'm I'm hardcore adulting right now. Yeah, you're capital A. I'm I, yeah, I'm capital A adult. I'm also capital type A. I've got a lot of A's in my life. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Anyway, hey, let's watch Bunny Farm. Let's finish this off instead of wasting time. We've got what, 15 minutes left of this? Yeah. Yeah, about 15 minutes left. Okay, so can we get through it? Please, we got to. I we will. Here we go. So we're recovering our memories. Yeah, when last we left off, we were at the creepy, uh, creepy well. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. That's my old house. Oh, oh shit. That, that's, this is my old house. Okay. Oh, yes, with the, oh, I didn't even notice this. The, I'm glad I actually rewound it with uh, the two creepy shadow children. So, um, one thing that's kind of a lingering mystery is we've been starting to get hints about the two red children, I believe that they were called. Um, so these are the, apparently the red kids. It seems like, it seems like they died in some, uh, horrific tragedy at the same time as part of the same event, house burning down, something like, who knows, um, under the care of someone else. So Holy shit. that's my old house. An actual reaction we got from Sophie. Help me clean the car base. Hold up. Is there? Sorry. I, it, yay. I love rewinding this a bunch of, there's just a lot happening here. Let's see. Is that the bear? That is the bear, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Back you can there? tell by yep. the right, blue that's tummy. So, again, we have the bear kind of serving as our guide through these repressed memories that Sophie My has. My old house. Okay. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car base. And, okay, so this is the gray rabbit that's been popping up. So, gray rabbit, just as a refresher, was one who was one of the first things in the very first episode. He spoke backwards, and it seems like his name is Rocket. He seems like he's kind of like the puppet equivalent. Uh, he, he's attached to strings and stuff. He's not a robot like the other ones. And um, he also seems tied to, like, the recovery of Sophie's repressed memories for some reason. Uh, so the, the difference the between rabbit. what his role in the story is and what the, like, white and purple bear's role is is very unclear. Uh, if I were to guess, I feel like one of them represents the repression of the memories like, like maybe re- represents, like, symbolically represents, like, uh, the pills that she's been taking to uh, shuttle these memories away. And then the other one is, like, the recovery of those. Like, no, I want to bring, you know, mm. you into this past, into acceptance. Um, that okay, would be okay. my guess from just a narrative standpoint uh, if I were doing this narrative. But I also, we'll see. Still too early to tell. All that's left to do is check... <laughs> Good, good sizing. Might want to stretch him out a little bit. Stretch. Okay, may, uh, again, being very explicit with the dates. So uh, we are doing a, a part two of the film theory. Timeline is actually one of the least problems of this series, which is really appreciated. Yeah, they laid really it out nice. nice for you in this one. What was that flashing? God, there's a lot happening. Is that a face? It kind of looks like it Where? has teeth and eyes. Doesn't it? Here, I'm just going to pull up. Uh, we still have Photoshop pulled up. Uh, Good. We'll I don't know what he's talking about. Right? It looks... That? The Again, like the quality is so low, but is that... So is this Shadow looks Man? looks like fish. The red thing? things look like fish to me. I don't think it's going to help. I think it's literally just like... I don't know what that is. Huh. Let's try exposure. Again, exposure is always the good one to just test out because it gives you a little bit more detail. It's like, basically, this is the annoying orange right here. You're like, hey, guys, want to make a phone call? Ah." 
That was annoying when we cross the sponge. Oh my gosh. I see human eye and human teeth on like weird shadow ball. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's annoying orange. It's the uh, creepy, uh, creepy, creepy shadow fruit. Hello? Kulik. Jack, what is it? Listen, I was, I was wondering if you could do me and Rose a small favor tonight. Okay, so this that is, is so this deep. Jack, okay. Uh, I, I don't know, Jack, today's been, uh, it's, it's about uh, Ed and Molly. And, yeah. Okay, Ed and, Ed and Molly, we're thinking, are the two red There's kids. There's a cool event tonight. A school party, and they have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork, and we'll see if I'm taking trouble to the dentist. So, okay, so this is confirming that they're all family, which we had suspected, right? So, um... Rose, Jack are the parents, Sophie is a kid, Ed and Molly seem to be also kids. Older? Older yes. kids than we Sophie? We were wondering if we could pick them up for the event and take them home later. <laughs> to tonight? Yeah, if it's possible, of course. <laughs> sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks for bothering you. Oh, thanks, Bob. It's nothing. All right, so I'll be Sounds like something. And get them home at night. Okay. Well, it should be home by then. If it's not, you call me. Better? Got it. Okay. I Roger that. You do. All right, great. Um. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so, okay. So. I'd I'd have to double check the dates, but it seems to me like this is tied to the night that Felix's wife left him? Because remember, we learned last episode by reading the journal entries that Felix's wife was having trouble with his drinking problem. And that at some point she's like, hey, I can't do this anymore. And I'm and I'm wondering if... I, I have to double check like if, if the dates were explicit there or not. And again, like this is one of those things that just... You have to just go back, consume everything, and take pretty meticulous notes as far as where things slot in. But to me, I'm curious if the... Because he said, like, oh, it's been a tough day. I wonder if Felix is already kind of like, this is the day that she left, and then he's already in a bad mental state, and then all of a sudden he's being tasked with kind of protecting the kids. Be wary, for this memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. You must find them, Sophie. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That was this. Oh, this is. This just got so much deeper than I thought, and now I think I. I know what's happening. Ah, uh, there it is. I recognize these faces, all of them. I, I know all. Oh, that's weird. So, what, what are these things on the hay bale? So, you have this weird mask, right? Is that a mask? Definitely looks like a face, doesn't it? Yeah, looks like a face. Huh. And that's and that's brand new. We haven't seen anything like that yet. Any of the any sort of like mask. No. Oh, wolf. <laughs> so, um, you would be the first person to die if you were in a horror movie. <laughs> Let's say you would be the sacrifice. It's an honorary first death. All of them. Also, I don't know if this will end up making it into the food theory, but basically she has just bitten the food theory. Madeleine, a flood of memories coming back. Film theory, you know? <laughs> the second reference to Proust's Madeleine in, in the past week. In the past week, man. Yeah, Proust head. <laughs> yeah, the Proust is coming back strong in online content. Uh, no, sorry. We, we filmed a food theory earlier this oh. week on The Grill. Uh, it's, it's a really good one. It, it's, it's an amazing episode. Um, but as we were filming it, uh, Matt, Steph, and I all had this long conversation about Proust's Madeleine, uh, which, for those of you who don't know, is this uh, basically this important literary literary moment that everyone kind of points. It's like the equivalent of a literary meme, a meme in literature, where uh, the character bites into this this Madeleine, which is a type of cookie, 
uh, and has this flood of memories of, of their, like, childhood, and it, like, brings back all this, like, repressed memory, basically. Oh. And so we are talking about it earlier this week, and out here Sophie being like, I'm playing this game, and I'm suddenly recall recalling everything. This bunny farm is her Proust's Madeleine. Welcome. We are a gaming channel here on YouTube. Twice in the same week. Proust's Madeleine reference. Uh, yeah, for, uh, for those of you who don't know, read Swan's Way. That's what it's from. Have you read Swan's Way, Matt? I refuse. I will not. Well, you know the the meme that came out of it, so it's and that's that And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. uh, fun fact, I had never seen uh, Predator all the way through, and I watched wow. Predator earlier this week. I learned that the 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 clasped hands mm -hmm. of, like, the, uh, two, the two arms that, like, agree about something, like, two opposing sides that agree on something, mm -hmm. that that meme comes from the opening of Predator. Interesting. Which, when they sh did that shot, I'm like, wait a minute, that's the <laughs> meme! The rest of the movie, I was kind of, like, mad, but I'm like, that's the meme! <laughs> That, yeah, I'm trying to brush up on my 80, like old 80s action flicks. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, is that, is that a bloody dog? Is that dog? Wait, is it's a pig? Is dog? Is it mangle? Mangle dog? Right, that kind of looks like a dog, doesn't it? Is there a red dog involved with this? Yeah, definitely a dog. Right. What? It's a pig, man. Okay, there's the bear. So the, I offering us a present. So that, okay, this is gonna. If it's pills, that seems pretty explicit. If it's pills. So what did the so what the bear offered us is gonna tell us like what he is. Oh. Spring party. Spr hey. Okay, so they are going to a school dance. I was assuming based on the timing and stuff that it's a school dance. May second. Brighton High Spring Party, May second, nineteen seventy four. Okay. And we know Okay, so Matt will probably say something, but the way I'm following is the kids have an event. So this is the event, the spring party at the high school. And then Sophie is younger, which Matt did say before. When both of these kids were born, um, and we can double check how old they would be at this point. But yeah, so it seems like they're high school age. And the fact that the bear dropped off that poster seems to again indicate that he is representative of yeah. the memories coming back he mm, that's interesting he was buried in the well and he comes out of the well so again symbolically he is the repressed memories in this dark well that are kind of like bubbling to the surface coming up into like the you know the forefront of her mind again so even the imagery and the way he's being depicted in this by martin the creator does seem to indicate that he is the memories themselves. We're sending, what is Rocket? What is the, what is the rabbit? I'm not sure. You doing okay? Sounds like someone needs the Heimlich. <laughs> oh, they're crying, sorry. Oh, they're crying. two kids. Heimlich, choking, keep coughing, keep coughing. My lifeguard training, Nick. Okay, so the red children. Are, okay, oh, jeez, hold up. Okay, just there was a lot happening there. Hold up, let's just work through this. Okay, they're guiding us through the cornfield. Creepy, creepy. The sound effects, man, are so disturbing. Sound is the scariest part of horror movies. I think that's why Quiet Place is so effective. It's because it's all sound based. Okay, okay, so we didn't really miss anything there. Okay, May 2nd. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I don't know why these drawings are these just horrific. Kids. Oh. Okay, so May 2nd, 1974. Okay. Just a little pet peeve. I don't like that they put the time in, like, military time. Where it's 1720, I think they put and in my head to know what time it is, I have to count on my fingers, like go from 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so that's five o'clock. I don't like that, that's just too much effort. We need to get ready for the school party, Molly, come on. <laughs> and then they become Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. I'll be ready in a minute, Ed, I'm looking for Rocket. Oh, here's Rocket, hey, here's Rocket, okay. That old doll, forget about it. We need to get ready. Yeah, the doll was 
Yeah. I don't think my pet picked that up before. I think I did catch on that. Hey, Uncle Felix will be here any minute. I don't know. That's Ed and Molly. It, okay. And that's Felix. That's it's Ed and Molly. Oh, okay. Here we go. So Sophie would have been the oldest or the middle child since Molly is the baby, so the youngest. Hmm. Yeah, good point. Okay. So she isn't the youngest, there Sophie. Is, is that text? Matt, can you see it? You're a little bit closer. Is that text along the top? Or it is? looks like text, but it is also fully unreadable. Right? Right. It yeah, is that is so text. illegible. Here, let me just see real quick. Again, how would you illegible could have stuff. That? It's funny because illegible stuff is actually really tough. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Are you, they definitely are you probably ready? Because you can see kind of an R E. Question mark? And I see the question mark there. To get, oh, g get going. It's not, it's, it's probably, it, I, what I would guess is that this is Felix. So Felix comes in basically saying like, hey, are you ready to get going? Uh, also, even though they're high school age, they really do look like eight-year-olds coming straight out of like a Hans Christian Andersen tale. The like fingers <laughs> going into the woods. very long. To the gingerbread woman. Twig looking. Um, it's weird. So terrifying. I think it's because of like the... I associate kind of this art style and with like the overly wide eyes and big mouths with kind of that that style of illustration that you see in old fairy tale books. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay, there's Rocket. Found it. We can go now. Huh. Into the car. Are the kids possessing Rocket or something? I assure you, this is not lag. It's <laughs> me guessing. Frame rate on these old memories are real bad. Real bad frame rate on these on these repressed memories. Okay, we're at the school party. Another shadow figure. Huh. There's a shadow figure there, but it's unclear whether that is like a chaperone or if it's actually an important character. There's Rocket doing a little dance. Do a little dance. Checking out Rocket. Follow. Ooh. Follow, follow. Okay. Don't you dare take me to a night security guard. And then there is the night security guard. What is that? What is that? That's just a really unusual statue. That's creepy. So you see a bunch of red solo cups around, which is... I, 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 I wouldn't think that that's Felix. But it could be. It is weird to have just a random statue there. But I think I, I called it an episode or two ago where I'm like, oh, I have a feeling that Felix's alcoholism is tied to um, the, the death of the red children. And it seems like that's where we're leaning towards here. Because that, that's what this is telling us. Rocket's like, seriously, what are you doing right now? Get over here. Yeah, she's just like taking Meanwhile, her time. Meanwhile, Bon is playing the game like I play, where I'm like, ah, oh, let me look over here. Let me touch everything. Oh, I don't really. She's need trying to, to figure some, like There's all no this rush. stuff out. Like, come on, There's Sophie. There's a lot of shadow kids. I'm assuming they're just, they're just like other people at this event, and it's nothing like. Like I don't need to be counting the number of kids. How many dead kids are here? Keep the tally, friends. Missing children incident of 1974. Okay, there's that's so weird huh so bon or and or rocket goes behind the wall and produces the two kids so the two kids are bonded to rocket or is bon himself the two red kids huh all right we finally found rocket now can we leave that's in huh that is very unexpected so to me, what that tells me is that Bon is actually the two red kids. Because 
Rocket's like, follow me, follow me, follow me. And Bon is following. Then Bon goes behind a wall. And then we see the two red kids. And they find Rocket. Mm. That would also seem to tie in with... That would also seem to tie in with the idea... That, so one of the things that everyone always mentions about Bon is like, the arm is acting funny. The arm is acting funny. And so maybe Bon is indeed an amalgamation of multiple spirits with different spirits either being like attached or in control of different parts of the body. Um, this is one of the things that like in Five Nights at Freddy's oh, okay. we've been dealing with a lot lately, which is like now that there's a lot of evidence supporting the idea that there are two spirits inside Golden Freddy, it's this constant, and, and the books really emphasize this, there's this constant push of like one spirit is able to see, the other mm -hmm. spirit is kind of buried deeper in it, and still controls things, like it controls the aura and the motion of the robot, um, but can't see what's going on in the world around it. It can't interact a lot with the world around it. it is, someone else controls the endoskeleton, but he's also there too and able to like influence certain things. Uh, so it feels like this might be something similar where, again, you have multiple spirits in Bon. Which is completely unexpected because I think everyone, I myself included, have been like, oh, theory. it seems like Jack is Bond. It, it, everything seems to be pointing to like, or at least indicating that Jack is Bond. This would be much more interesting to me. Yeah, the school looks very creepy at night. Where's Uncle Felix? He should be here somewhere around here. We should look for him. Ooh, Uncle Felix isn't there. So creepy. So creepy. Also, remember, this is so we play in a video game. This is all being like, yes, it's, it's. Yeah, I just, it's like right before he said that and reminded us that Sophie, this is her playing. I remember that for myself. Like, wait, she's playing as the kids now. So, all right, I'm following. It's cool that, you know, the narrative is being told to us in this format. But this is a video game, canonically, that she is playing right now. This is the game I'm playing. I'm freaking the heck out of, out of here. It's like, no, no, big no. Really does feel like the uh, first time you play FNAF 2 and you get jump scared and you have a death mini game pop up. And you're like, what the heck just happened? This is so creepy, so freaky. Cool, looking around, can't find him. Oh, oh the drinking <laughs> zone. <laughs> Go into the drinking zone. Oh, man. I wish I had my cups or something like that. I want to go to the drinking zone right now. There's nothing here in front of me. This is clearly not the drinking zone for me. I need a... This is where you go to imbibe cool, crisp Diet Cokes. All the diet beverages you could want. <laughs> into the drinking zone. Oh, and who do we find but none other than Felix? Oh, Felix, what are you doing here? Drinking. This is a drinking zone. You shouldn't be drinking. Oh, that's you, this drinking zone. You shouldn't be drinking. I'm okay. I'm really just feeling a little dizzy. Here it is. It's getting very late. Your parents must be worried. Let's... Oh, okay. I think one of you brought this up. This is why you shouldn't drink and drive or something. But it seems like Uncle Felix is drinking, has to pick up the kids, take them home, so... Presumably go home. So oh, yeah. This is it. And so so he crashes on the way home. They yeah. die. He feels regretful. Apparently, that was a detail that happened earlier, and I just didn't remember. That's, yeah, this is but where this I'm putting started. it together now. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Wow. Very explicit on the timeline. May 2nd. Exact time and everything. How much is left till we get home? Not much. Just, oh, this is all just kind of lost, I think. Oh no. Oh. Huh. Right? How did you get around places? What are you drinking? <laughs> that is the the youngest sounding high schooler ever. Also. Uh, how did you get around without Google Maps back in the day, man? Uh, I was a navigator for my family with maps, uh, like actual paper maps, and uh, it's hard. 
you had to like map out where you were going on vacation well in advance there wasn't a whole like let me just plug in what the next destination is so i i i, I feel this but oh man it's bad news Oh, I will. No, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just Pull over, man. Nope. It's not that big of a deal, all right? Oh, my. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not. Don't do this, kids. I'm going home. We're almost there. How old are these Don't kids? Don't you think you're driving too fast? Listen, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to get you too quick. I'm just trying yeah, to get you Felix. too Felix. quickly, all right? Felix cranking. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... I'm not feeling too good right now. Just stop the car. I really just, just, I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's all right. We get that today wasn't the best for you. We understand. It's all your fault. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh my gosh. The youngest one is saying, no, it's okay, we understand. But all the lines are saying, it's all your fault. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. I mean, it is. <laughs> there is no deny. You, you don't have to remind him whatever spirit is possessing the text in this video. It is... There it is. Oh. Oof. oh no, you got the bad ending. Okay. You couldn't finish the barn tasks in time. You crashed the car. You... Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I like how it got more intense graphically before we saw what looked like drawings, very like basic drawings of the eyes and like crying, but you could tell it was blood. And now we actually see it like dripping from the eye sockets. Oh, this is horrific. I like the art style. Oof, rough. There's Rocket. What is Rocket? Felix did an oopsie. Okay, so Rocket's in the woods with the kids. There's the bear again. Okay, the bear. He was too scared. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. He killed them, then buried them? That's sad. I mean, you can tell by Matt's face. That's... Oh god, really? But they found a way out eventually. Ah! Oh, creepy! <laughs> yeah, okay, so. Huh, so. Ro hmm. Okay, so I was, I guess, wrong about Bon? Or. Was I right? So the. Hmm. Are the kids, um, the gray rabbit? I forget the name. Mm. Rocket. So the uh, so the white bear is like the narrator, and just like your like spirit slash memory guide. Rocket is the two kids. Oh, I got it right. Fused together. One point, Serena. Then maybe they transfer into Bond, or maybe just the Bond thing is still not attached. Dang, I surprised myself there. Ha! <laughs> it's it's all still images, but it's so disturbing. It's creepier that way. Rather than you actually like seeing like a CGI thing like rise, like the uncanny valleyness of it all. Felix gonna call him up like, oops. Hey man. Yeah, your kids are dead. I killed them. Sorry. Hangs up. You have 25 new messages. Oh, jeez. Felix. Oh, it's Jack. Now. Yeah. I need to pick up the phone. 
It's been three hours since I told you to get Ed and Molly. Yeah, home. yeah. So now Jack. What happened to my children? Woof. Oof. Sounds bad. Me. You must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. I'm trying to call you all night. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, terrible. I, I've been trying to contact you all night. So I've been no, calling yeah. everyone for you. Just what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you didn't call. See that, like, I asked you to do one simple favor for Dark me. realism. I need to know. Picture? Where are so they? Where do Oh no, there's more? It's just something you forgot to remember. They've been waiting for you. <gasps> something you forgot to remember. Sorry, I forgot to remember. I have repressed memories, white bear. You creeper. Forgive me for not remembering all of the uh, temporary selective amnesia I have. Is that a sheep? Sheep, rabbit. So this is the family. You got Shaw's the mother. Banny as so Banny is Susan Woodings. So is Susan Woodings like the oldest kid who got married and died? Boozoo. Boozoo is Charles, which is her brother. Which again, we don't know anything really about the brother's story. Shaw's the mom. Where's Jack? I need to check the timeline because Jack disappears, what, a day or two I swear, after I'm so excited for the second theory. Oh, here's... Oh, this whole time I've been assuming the player character avatar is Bon, but this is Bon. Oh, huh. I see. Yeah, what, what are you, Bon? Are you just Jack? Might want to get that voice box checked. Oh, there oh it is. again with the movement. They okay, just okay. up the notch there. Okay, so... <sighs> so creepy. The, the animations on this thing. The animations and the sound design. As the videos went on and the story went on, the pictures just became so much more alive it's nine are creepy. so disturbing just well across done. the board like it gives me goosebumps oh no what about you man you feeling goosebumps or no are you just like cold no, and dead inside yeah no i hate it right it's, it's the word right <laughs> thanks so i hate much. it right it's, i don't it's get awful. goosebumps in, in in like the best scary way possible so this looks like a little girl spirit right yeah for sure that's still her still her Still, but what is this other thing? Is that the boy? Are there? It looks like two separate spirits. Which again, if if the red spirits like come out of rocket, like maybe rocket is a transfer vessel. Ooh, the mouth. <laughs> the eyes is going. You would say that they were vengeful spirits. The bunny looks so cute. It all starts with Rocket the Doll. Oh! That's I, that's just scary to me. I don't. That's really gross. <laughs> it's freaking. This is this is dark, man. It's dark. Got intense. Wait, wait. Here. See that in the corner? DTY whiz mm, ninety one. Good catch. Okay, we'll come back to that. DTY. WZ here. Let me just write it down. This is. I'm assuming this is another unlisted link. No, where'd my whiteboard go? Boop. You got it, Matt? It's in the other room already, Tom. Thanks. Yep. Capital DTY, lowercase W S I Z zero nine. Oh, there's shoot, there's something at the end of it. I bet if I search for just like uh Walton Files unlisted videos, I I'm just, I would assume someone's found this. Maybe it's an I or a one. I feel like it's an L, like a lowercase. It could L. be a lowercase L too, yeah. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Huh. That was it. There's the shadow man, maybe? 
So, what? So, what? That was it? That, like, gave us nothing. What the heck is this? The rest of this video, then? Is it him theorizing? Okay, let's keep watching and see. Is Bond the two? Like... It's just it's just a weird it's it's not like as as clean yeah. as you would kind of want it to be right where like are the two spirits in Rocket and then Rocket transitions them over to Bon and that's why Bon is like so murderous and angry is because it's these it two kids like that were like no cut ending. down early. Huh. Thanks for Cor for supporting Bunny Smiles and Corp. You're welcome. You're welcome, buddy. What else? Bunny Smiles, Distribution, Cyberpunk Tech. Oh, it's not. Really? Nothing at the end? What? Really? Nothing at the end? All the other ones have had something at the end. I'm surprised. Or... So I wonder if he's going to go to that... Okay, hold up. Like, that link Bump in the top corner. Or not link, but I don't know what it is. It's a surprise. He's clicking. Just disappointed. BSI, Bunny Smiles and Corp. Yeah, maybe that's it. Huh. Yep, that's it. Hey, look, there we go. That's me. That's our thing. I love it. Huh. Okay, so. What is. Okay, let's try this YouTube. What is it? YouTube, usually this thing, slash. Um, what you got? D T Y D T Y lowercase W W lowercase S S lowercase I I Z capital Z capital Z I think so uh zero nine, zero nine. and then either a lowercase L or like a one shoot here uh here unless here hidden YouTube link there I, I'm like I'm sure someone has found this. Uh, DTY W S I lowercase Z. Mm. U two dot b uh, slash what was it? Uh, DTY lowercase W S I Z. Yeah. And then what was it? Zero nine L. Zero nine L. Zero nine one. Darn it. Yeah. Here. Is it a capital I? H D Y W zero nine capital I. Oh, and there's an H. So there must have been one earlier that we missed. But this is it. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, 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 what is this? This is called guilty. Huh. Oh, this okay. Have to do with oh, this Felix? is gonna be this is gonna be a fun ride. I have a feeling this is gonna be inside of uh the psyche of Walton, huh? Or not the the psyche of uh, Felix. Guilty. I wonder if it's like his huh. side All of right. it. So one so one other secret video. Cool. The Bunny Smiles archive. Oh, great. We're already starting off strong. Company greeting 41567. So 67. This is earliest. The I date believe. we Hello. were My name is Oh, okay. Um the date we were using before it was 74 and now we're at 67. Felix Franken. Oh, yeah. I just want to greet all of you to the company. Sure. You and my friend Jack are both very excited about working with all of you. Nope. Here at Bunny Smiles, we believe that all it takes to achieve our dreams is hope. Would you like to achieve this dream with us? Great. No. As of now, our team is very big, just like our budget. <laughs> hey, we have cute. hope. And in my opinion, that's Aww. all that matters. Oh, That's sad. That's really sad. Again, this goes to that idea of, like, the decline and failure. Like, it people who start so off with fast. the best of intentions. So sad. Uh, just falling. And that's... Most tragic Greetings. story of all. Here. 
I really just wanted to give all of you dedicated BSI employees a small farewell message. Huh. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope to see all of you in a few months. Okay. It, it's mm. crazy how far we've made it. Just everything, really. The Cyberfund tech deal, the Bonds Burgers project, it's incredible. I never thought I, we, would have made it far. And I'm proud of all of us. Y'all should feel proud, too. That is, okay, so, huh, interesting. So, the Bonds Burgers, so Cyberfund tech, this is where the exciting, uh, this is where the exciting world of corporation and in incorporation exists right because this is bunny smiles inc but you have the cyber fun tech as a separate company and you have the bonds burgers project which mm -hmm. seems like cyber fun did they so are they I, I have to figure out who owns what like that's one of the confusing things to me about this is like who owns what what did felix and jack actually create what was their first company because it seems like Bonds Burgers might have been a separate project. Yeah. And that these guys created Cyberfund in the early, early days. Few months. It, it's crazy how far we've made it. Just everything, really. The Cyberfund tech deal. The oh, Bonds it is Burgers a deal, project. though. Cyberfund tech deal. It's incredible. Mm. I never thought I, we, we. would have made it far. Okay. And so I'm they are Bunny Smiles. They are Bunny Smiles Incorporated. They've been hired on to do something with. Cyberfun and also bo and Bonds Burgers as two separate things. Um, the reason I call that out is just because I'm still really curious where Boozu and Billy come from because again they are very different than Bon and Banny, so they could be coming from two separate projects that again get like stored together during the relocate project. So it's all about tracking the the movement of the animatronics. I'm proud of all mm. of us. You all should feel proud too. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next year. Hmm. Cool. Didn't seem like there was anything there. Mm, More redacted. What do you think? G guilty. Oh, this is guilty. G-U-I-L-T-Y. The, the last one is definitely Y. Yeah, this is guilty, I think. Five two seventy four. That's probably yeah, it looks like again. I believe that's the day of the crash. Oh, after the car crash. Thanks, closed captions. Doing my job for me, making my job easy. I love it. <laughs> like, let me solve this. Oh wait, no, never mind. Is there something? I'm not seeing anything that would prompt in the darkness. <laughs> uh just to answer we are doing a reaction raffle we are finishing up this gt live watson file video and then we're going to jump into the theory that the film theorist did and then we'll do our raffle <laughs> all right it's yeah <laughs> messed up. Is he vlogging this? <laughs> Is he only vlogging? Oh wait, I don't think it's you guys so can see the... Here we go. Sorry about that. Oh, tape recorder. Last time I used this, I was driving. Ooh. In the same conditions. I, I, I messed up. I, I have a problem. So this has happened before? And this has been a problem for so long that I, I can't even remember. Oh, that's weird. The, the first time I, I got drunk, I, I don't remember most stuff. Ooh, Felix. Blacked out. Gotta, gotta have an intervention. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's probably why I carry this, this recorder with me. Kind of like a diary. Hey, I just killed some kids. That, that's probably why I'm recording this in the first place. Great. <laughs> the original vlogger. I know I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll think this is all just a nightmare. So he so he's blackout and doesn't achieve the memories. Dang. Mm -hmm. That's sad. He's gotten to a point where he can't really tell reality because he's just so drunk and blacked out all the time. It's a problem. <laughs> Molly, are okay? 
Huh. Robot. They are not. You definitely killed them. You you are guilty. They're not. No. Sorry. They were just chilling. Yes. <laughs> Jack. Oh god, what am I gonna tell Jack? That's what I'm curious. So Jack disappears. Mm. Does Felix kill Jack? Mm. Or what? Where's Jack in all That's why I buried him. Just, just the idea of Jack. Seeing what happened to him. Jack's been the best man I've ever had. I'd, I'd never do that to him. That, that's you know, I, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want him to see his dead kids. I don't want him to have like proper closure on the situation or anything. So, you know, I'm just going to uh, lie to him, bury them, and uh, pretend like they like ran off into the woods. Yeah, no, no, no. You just want to end that there. It's worse what he's so doing fine. than just like, tell the I truth. I, I can't. I can't let, give him closure. I can't live in proper mourning. But, you know, as a friend, as a friend, I'm just going to put him under the earth, pretend like none of this ever happened, and also he's not respond to his 25 phone his calls kids. asking me like, where my kids are at. What do you think? Totally fine. This is brilliant aye, aye. thinking. Brilliant plan. Think. Think, Felix. When, the, when that accident occurred, I just, I just panicked. And I yeah. buried them in the forest. God. Say Juana. Say Juana's forest. The forest next to the, the road. The road in which the accident occurred. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to clarify, the road upon which I got drunk and uh, went. Also, it seems like Jack is not really thinking clearly either because... I mean, if you have a friend who's struggling with a drinking problem, you wouldn't hopefully give them the responsibility of picking up your kids. Like, that's not a good idea. Went off the road. So, did you, the road upon which the accident occurred. <laughs> I can't even. I can't remember where I buried him. Oh, God. Come on, what? Felix. Get together. How'd you get your car out? <laughs> Also, do you have a shovel in the back of your car? A lot of questions. A lot of questions. <laughs> so fuck. Yeah. It's your stream. What am I gonna do now? The restaurant's gonna open next month. Okay, there it is. Restaurant opens next month. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Wow. No. <laughs> Wonder if there's anything interesting Denial. in the backing audio. Or if it's just the backing music. Okay, Rocket. Rocket knows what's up. Rocket sees you. This music reminds me of something in a movie where the serial killer, they like come into his area of living and he has like an old radio and this song is just playing in the background or something similar. Just something he listens to to calm down. It's creepy. Well, again, it's the two spirits. Like, it's, Rocket's a doll, but Rocket also has a mechanical leg there. Oh. Which I hadn't noticed before. So he is kind of like a... He's, like, he's the plush trap, actually. He's, he's more accurately plush trap. Where he, he can, like, self-move. Okay. Yep. I'm waiting for, like, a jump scare or a reveal or something. Gotta fill out that runtime. Gotta get those watch minutes on YouTube on those unlisted videos. Cool. Is that it? Is that it? Oh man. I don't believe it. Still have ten seconds left. One last face. Nothing? Oh, 
Really? There was nothing there? There was nothing, th th just a bunch of blank space at the end? There's no way. Really? Hold up, that is suspicious to me. I, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe that is all there is. But that's odd that you would just leave a bunch of blank space at the very end of this. That's messed up if they just the, left the black screen. Yeah, I guess I guess not. There's like you would see like a shape or something. But that's nothing. Huh. Weird. So okay, Sad. the this one wasn't quite as um you know, the the first hidden video that we found, which actually gave us the timeline, showed us the pills, really gave us excuse me. Really gave us a lot of hints as far as like kind of what we ended up seeing in Bunny Farm. Um, this one was just kind of like reiterating a lot of stuff we already know. I think the most interesting thing about this one, though, is that Felix says that he's been in this type of situation before, um, that he recorded stuff then, too, which is odd. And I don't know if that's just a general statement of, like, I got into a car accident when I was drunk one time, um, and I recorded it then, or if it was literally, like, I have also killed people in the past, or... The last time I kind of went off the rails. Uh, so, yeah. That is... That's Walton Vine. That's the, that's the end of the canon things. Um, there are a couple of non-canon videos on Martin Walls' channel, which uh, you should check oh. out, which I fully intend to check out before our next theory. Because um, even though they are technically not canon or questionably canon at best, a lot of times you'll see creators testing out ideas or maybe like seeding out things in those that end up surfacing into kind of like the main timeline things like that mm -hmm. so especially for me as i'm crafting theories it gives me a better sense of like where their heads are at or kind of what they're trying to tell with their story um or what they might be trying to tell with their story it just gives you more chance to kind of understand the world the characters things like that uh, but yeah, I mean, with this first batch of three, and who knows when the, the story continues, but with this first batch of three, it feels like we have a lot of pieces on the table and pretty well solidified, right? Um, Rocket seems to be the, the two kids. Shaw, we know. Banny, we know. Like, yeah, there's a couple of minor questions about, like, hey, is Susan actually part of the family who was old enough to have gotten married and changed her last name um, and then came back to work with her family on the family business. Um, you know, the, some minor nuances about, like, who is the, the dark man? Dark man feeds me when lights go off that we heard in, in episode two. He's kind of still lingering <laughs> question, like, who is that. dark man? Um, bon, still a bit of a question? Because Bon seems to, like... Bond's being hinted at as a lot of different things at this point. Um, at the end of Bunny Farm, Bond was kind of being associated with the two dead spirits, but Rocket is still associated with the two spirits. So are they both? Did Rocket transfer them over? Did Rocket give gifts, give life? I don't know. It's, that's unclear. Do you have any... I'm, I'm curious, Matt. What, what are your thoughts? Like, this is me just kind of pontificating in real time some of the lingering threads uh, what what sense do you get out of this uh, not much really no <laughs> um there's just, it's a lot of moving parts yeah um and also this is my first this is like something to, you need to sit on for a bit long form animatronic content so <laughs> what <laughs> you're not familiar with long form animatronic content come on matt so this is your ball your ballpark okay fair enough it's it is just like using Using the medium of film to interpret the message of the creator, though. This is true. So, you know, it's it, animatronics or no. Like, yeah, there's definitely parallels to FNAF in a lot of ways, but it's also, you've you've now seen all three canon videos of this thing. Yeah. And, like, you have an idea of who the characters are, what visuals the creator has chosen to associate with those moments. So, our job, mm -hmm. my job, your job is to <laughs> stand there and be pretty. <laughs> And I do it well. And you do it real well. No, uh, well, my job and you as my foil in these live streams <laughs> is, you know, to, to piece together, like, what are those images trying to tell us? And what is the way that this narrative is being put together trying to tell us about where it's going moving forward? Um, so, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling I'm a little still impatient kind of, right now. Bond is still the biggest question mark to me. I'm not sure. I wonder I if just it, want to it, skip, it, but... Like, 
Bunny Smiles really. I want to watch it out all. too. You know what I mean? Oh, what the company or like the like uh, as a method of processing trauma, like. It oh, that... sort of makes sense that somebody who's heavily medicated would sort of fabricate images. Oh, so you think, well, it has to exist to mm, some extent, right? Because you have other people going into and out of, like, storage facilities. You mm-hmm. have news coverage of events. Like, we've as we've clipped through these, you see news coverage of events. You see That's true. people coming in and out of buildings. Because yeah. Sophie really didn't appear until... Right, because Sophie, yeah, because Sophie is actually a latecomer in the family, right? Yeah. Like Ed and Molly were older than her. Charles uh, seems, who is in Boozu, seems to be older than her. Um, yeah, so she seems to be kind of like uncovering her family's trauma that she had as a kid, like that she was a little bit aware of as a kid, but either through doctors or I don't even. It's it's un- who who took care of Sophie this whole time? Like that's mm-hmm. actually a big question here. Yeah is mm, that's a good point because i'm assuming felix like disappears jack we know disappears within a month of this I, rosemary shortly thereafter which leaves sophie in kind of a weird spot yeah so really you know maybe she was taken in by like an orphanage i i don't know so like the sophie's journey from all her family basically getting wiped out of existence to her uncovering these memories is a big black box right now. So maybe that's where the story goes. Um, this does seem to be the end of like act one of this story, right? Where we, we've gotten a lot of solutions to a lot of the mysteries that have been built up. And now it's like, okay, we enter into the next phase of mysteries, which I, I don't actually know. Is it Sophie's backstory? Is it what happened to Jack? Cause Jack, that seems to be the starter, one of the starter questions of the series, and still one that has the least answers attached I feel like to it. Felix probably did away with them, right? It feels like Felix kills him off at yeah. some point because it. I mean, he was grappling with the, the fact that he has to tell, right? Yeah. And like that in itself is is enough to drive someone to murder. Oh, hundred percent. Like, but it's also worth noting though that like, so if Felix kills off Jack, Rosemary's still kicking around. But then Rosemary gets killed off by Mon. Anyway, it's interesting. It's interesting. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Like I said, uh, we're still working the on uh, a new film theory about this now that we have all the information. Plus stuff I'll get off stream. Um, you know, Mon. I'll see kind of, I'll, I'll put all the ideas together into something that's a little bit more formal, a little bit more uh, coherent. But, uh, but anyway, there you go, friends. That is long form animatronic theorizing, uh, which we've never really, like we've done it a little bit on the channel um you know but it's cool to be able to actually have these moments where we're walking through theories together we're watching things together we're reacting to it in real time you're getting a sense of kind of my thought process some of the questions that i'm always asking myself how i connect dots things like that which is cool so uh thank you for joining me on this journey thank you to martin walls uh for again sharing your story with us